My name is Matt and welcome to another episode of Rocket Surgery. The garage build is going to take a break, which is why we're down here in my basement working on a very special Halloween project. A couple weeks ago, my fiance asked if she could go as chic and if I could help her make a costume. We're going to work on the armature to make the cowl, basically, that Sheik wears. Um, and to do that, we're gonna actually keep this pretty low key. We're just gonna use fabric and we're gonna use some leftover wiring from when I did my house. One of the first things you're gonna wanna do is take this wiring and we're gonna actually separate it out into its individual strands. Uh, so I'm gonna grab a utility knife. I'm gonna slice this outer sheath off and we'll, we'll go from there, so. First thing I'm going to want to do is get a feel for the how round I need to make this. So I'm just going to basically fit it around my head um, and I'll probably go a little tight for me which should be about the right size for Sam. That actually feels pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is just coil this wire around itself a couple times and that's gonna lock it in. Occasionally, you'll get a tail like that, where it's just a little too tough. And that's where these lineman pliers come in, and they are really good. You just grab and just fold. This measurement right here, if I make an L with my hand, from here to my thumb, is the size, the height from her shoulder to about the bridge of her nose, which is about where the, uh, uh, Cal sits on Sheik. All right, so basically there, there. So there's one. I'll add a little bit extra. Yeah, we'll add about two inches beyond that. All right. I'm going to take them again. Now that I got them to this point, I'm going to fold them just kind of roughly in half. Okay? So we're going to make four U's. Take this piece, this is gonna be now my top ring, and to attach it, I'm gonna fold it in tight. I'm gonna loop it around once. Squeeze it kind of closed, should close everything up. And then, with the pliers, what I did there, it's a nice tight fit. I'm gonna put in a couple twists. Three, okay. I'm gonna put in the next piece. And do a couple more twists. And then I'm gonna put in the final piece and do a couple more twists. Now at this point, I will grab the pliers here on the bottom, which will tighten it up pretty nice and I'm gonna clip it off okay and we went probably yeah okay we went too short so I need to add in a uh, yeah so I need to add in one more row as you can see and that's all right so what we'll do now is instead of adding <laughs> I'm stuck but it's flexible <laughs> All right, so instead of adding in a fourth row, what we're going to actually do now is build a base. So the cowl actually connects to basically a uh, piece that kind of goes over Sheik's shoulders and then drops down across her chest. So we're going to just integrate this into the frame for the shoulders, which is also going to be nice because then that gives a bit more support to hold this in the correct position. Okay. So we're going to put a very slight kink in this. All right, so you see, it's got that little bend there. So that's gonna be uh, basically, you know, shoulders. All right, so it's gonna slip over 
and then it's going to rest on the shoulders here just like that cool so now from here we build out and we build up just a little okay so i want it to rest right about there so that looks, that looks pretty good okay so i'm just going to loop it over right and since this is kind of small and I want it to be very secure, use the pliers again and just really twist that on. And repeat on the other side now. This is called densified batting, right? Um, basically, this is just what they use for upholstery work. It's, basic, it's layered, so it tears into these thin strips. So it's just going to make a nice soft body that we can then put fabric on and actually already you can see it taking shape. I'm going to take a second as well so anything that's sticking up or sticking out is going to get folded over or clipped off with the pliers. So I'll do that now and we'll start wrapping this thing in padding. It looks like we did a pretty good job putting this together. There's not a lot of stuff pointing out into the area where you know your, your sensitive parts are going to be like your face. Like all good cosplay and costume making, we're going to use spray adhesive. It'll basically, it's a glue that glues to itself when it dries. And you apply a little bit of pressure. It also gets everywhere with it sprayed on. I'm going to lay side in and then I'm going to fold it over thusly. Now for here, if you've got scissors, you can just use scissors. I don't have scissors on me right now. I do have this ridiculously oversized camping knife. So I'm going to use that. Try it on. It should be a little bit tighter of a fit for me because of the padding, but it's already going on much less painfully. But it is pretty tight. Yeah. Just like this. Boo! And we'll move on to the next step, which is to actually make this look like wrapped fabric. If you can't sew, that's okay, because again, we can, uh, we can cheat a lot of this with um, the spray adhesive. So at this point, we're just gonna basically cut a uh, length of fabric that is about as thick as this is tall. Really just eyeballing this here. So that looks about right. It's okay if it's a little long. Okay. All right, and... Oh, this is great. If anybody's wondering, I'm cutting. This is where we folded the fabric. This is where the fabric is folded over. So I go half as far 
out and that gives me then my, uh, my right width overall. In fact, it's a little long, which is perfect because then when it goes over the shoulders, it'll be at just the right, should be right about there. That's gonna be great. You can see it's just basically blue. I was running out of ink, so excuse that. We got some blue and some red, which I'm gonna paint on, because that's gonna be easier. Um, so let's cut these blue pieces out, and let's go to work. What we've got is uh, some little triangle, rounded like puppy ear triangles, with a little funky shaped piece here. Um, and then it's another piece further down. This is it. Thanks for watching, guys.